return to nature isn't always a physical destination. Sometimes it's as simple as knowing the roots of the food on your plate. It doesn't get any fresher than this. And the meats are great. Uh, just a chance to eat well. That's why each Thursday afternoon, rain or shine, conscious consumers flock to this parking lot for the Plymouth Farmer's Market. Woke up, time to go quick and then slow up. One minute you zip and you're cold up. Plato's organic harvest owner, Dave Papura, started managing the market in 2015, but has sold fresh produce from his booth since 2006. His customers want to know where their food comes from. So we take a road trip to Seoul Homestead in Middleborough. Since I was a kid, I always wanted to do this. And so, you know, I went through mortgages, raising kids, and, you know, I got to a point in my life where I was like, you know, now or, now or never. <laughs> Today, as he preps for market, he makes plans to harvest what's fresh. Nothing from there. I'll be doing uh, lots of lettuce, uh, lots of scallions, uh, kale, collards, chard. It's quite a grocery basket, but if you can't find what you need at his booth, you've got options. I'm Josh De Silva, owner of De Silva Farm. And we're a pasture-raised poultry farm. So the difference is uh, our animals live outside. I have a livestock guardian dog that lives with them, protects them from predators. They're in the fresh air, sunlight, and it makes for a better, healthier bird. Skinny Dip Farm is a family-run business. It's a couple, Ben and Hannah, and they are on a mission to connect communities to really high-quality organic fresh food. The market is great because it's direct sale. You know, you're building connections with your customers, and in turn, we have really loyal customers that have been with Ben and Hannah for decades. The Plymouth Farmer's Market, true to its name, is a producer-only market. No craft items or resale here. But that doesn't mean you can't find a killer cookie. I'm Kathy Goonan, the owner of Log Cabin Bakers. I bake out of my house. I have a commercial residential kitchen. A lot of the produce that I use in things comes either from this market or local farmers in the area. What are you doing? <laughs> Apparently, customers don't break for Chronicle when the last zucchini bread hangs in the balance. I see a lot of the same people every week, and that's really special to me. Music and a festive vibe reinforce the community feeling here. A perfect place for our final vendor to introduce a product you probably never knew you were missing. So my name is Kamal Jarrett. I'm the founder of Hillside Harvest. We do Caribbean style hot sauces and Jamaican jerk marinades. A lot of times going into supermarkets in order to see products that are ethnically uh, diverse, you have to go into the quote unquote ethnic aisle or the international aisle. So coming to Plymouth allows us to get face to face with that consumer who may not go down the ethnic aisle, but still wants to have a little piece of Jamaica at home. Dave Papura was a software engineer for Nokia before finding his way back to nature. He says southeastern Massachusetts is a tough place to get into farming because of the lack of available land. The Plymouth Farmer's Market still open for the season. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening, great weekend. See you back here again Monday night.